Hey, Washington football fans. This is Greg here uh, representing the Washington football maniacs. Okay, so I'm reading a lot of hate from fans on Twitter uh, going toward Ron Rivera, and I don't think that it's very justified. I think fans are starting to turn their backs on Ron Rivera so quickly. You know, after, honestly, it was a fluke season last year. The team was still 7-9, and nine, so they were still a losing team last year. They, they just happened to be the best losing team in the NFC East in order to have the division. So this year, that's probably not going to happen. You're probably going to have to have a winning record in order to win the division this year. So you have a 7-9 and nine team that's coming into the second year under Ron Rivera. You have quite frankly, have different quarterbacks yet again, and people are expecting this team to be one of the best teams in the league, you know, and maybe our expectations should have been tempered a little bit before the season started. Maybe we should have been a little, well, you know, maybe we should have just pumped our brakes because, Right now, there are fans who are jumping off of the Ron Rivera bandwagon because of five games into the season, we're two and three. Last year, we were seven and nine. Okay, to me, that says we're really about where we were at last year. Now, yes, I have been very down on the defense, rightfully so. The defense has been underperforming, they are way too talented to be performing this way. We've seen way too many blown coverages. I get that. But at the same time, Ron Rivera is looking at the details as well. He's still trying to you know, train this team and these players. He's trying to teach them how to win. And that takes a while. You know, this franchise has been through the mud. All right. I mean, look what's happening now, you know. With this John Gruden thing, right? John Gruden gets called out for emails that he sent, you know, 10 years ago uh, with, uh, you know, racial, racially insensitive language and homophobic language and all this stuff. And rightfully so, he gets fired. Uh, but guess what? It all links back to the Washington football team because these were... These were comments that he made to Bruce Allen, who at the time was the president of the Washington football team. So now the football team is back in the spotlight with all of this negative stuff going off of the field. And I think the point I'm trying to make here is that as far as we've come with the culture change in Washington, there is still a long ways to go. There still needs to be closure, and I think the NFL needs to aid in that closure. And they can do that by releasing some sort of written assessment from Beth Wilkinson and letting everybody read what her findings were. Instead, it's obvious that the NFL is trying to cover up is trying to protect ownership. I mean, it's obvious, right? And because of that, of course, you know, we're going to start hearing more distractions um, with Dan Snyder and, you know, all of this stuff that happened with Bruce Allen. Uh, folks, Dan is not going to get run out of, out of the uh, franchise. He's, he's not. I would be very surprised if it happens. Right now, the fans are back into this frame of mind to where things are just bad. You know, they, they're they not liking Ron Rivera. They, You know, fans will tell you one thing. That's one thing I've heard, you know, I've learned. And, hey, I've been a Washington football team fan ever since 1981. So I've been around, okay? And it's one thing that I have learned is when it comes to Washington fans, there's a very short leash. We will say that, hey, you know what? We're going to give this, we're going to give this coach at least two, three years before we start really, you know, judging uh, him and all of this stuff. And no, 
that that's not the case. We get a little taste of success, minor success, and we expect the progression to go into a linear upward uh, motion, and that's just how it is. It doesn't always happen that way. You're dealing with human beings, right? And you're dealing with the fact that you're going to have setbacks. You're going to have injuries. You're going to have, well, you're just going to swing and miss on, on draft picks, unfortunately. And you're going to have players who just don't get it, unfortunately. Uh, they have some talent, but they lack the skills with really trying to understand and grasp you know, their assignments, and, and I hate that, but that's true. <clears throat> Having said all that, has coaching been great? No, coaching has not been great at all. Ron Rivera's made mistakes. Uh, you know, we don't know what Jack Del Rio is doing with the defense right now. We don't know what his position coaches in the secondary are thinking, but we're just going to have to stick with this and grind through it. And while a lot of football fans, I think, will sit there and moan and complain, you know, deep down inside, they're still going to stick with it because this is their team. They love their team. It's a love-hate relationship, right? So here's the thing. Here, here's my, my one message to Washington football fans. Be patient, okay? Just be patient. Give Ron Rivera some time. I really think that Ron Rivera is the correct, correct, the right coach for us. I think he is going to turn things around, but he has got to be given, he's got to be given time. He's been given a lot of responsibility, you know, responsibility they took upon himself, but he's been given a lot of responsibility. It's not just coaching the team, but it's turning around an entire organization, an entire franchise. It's, also turning over the culture while, you know, battling cancer, right? So, you know, I'm not trying to give excuses, but just to say that his job has been more than just standing on the sidelines calling timeouts. And I'm um, not to say that that's what head coaches only do, but just to say that, you know, he has he has been the man and it's going to take a while. So we need to be patient. We understand we're playing a first place schedule with a team that had a losing record last year. What do you expect? All right, folks, take care. Hope you have a great day. I will see you in the next one and continue to hell to the Washington football team, folks.